I can't even comprehend what just happened, but it just happened and that was the scariest moment of my entire life. <laughs> So I'm just gonna tell you guys kind of what happened. So I'll just start from the beginning. So this happened like a little while ago. Drew just left for work. But we were laying down in bed and Luna and uh, Tito, my two cats. Luna is the bigger cat and then Tito is a smaller one. So we just got Tito a few weeks ago and he's an angel. He's amazing. We love him so much and <laughs> Oh my god, he tends to get into stuff, so he's really little, really little. The other day he went inside of the cabinets, underneath there's like a hole like the construction workers uh, forgot to close it or something. There's like a hole up there and he went in it, explored in there, he wasn't stuck or anything and he just easily came out. But we were freaking out because he was in the cabinet and we were like, uh, we can't get him out of there unless we call like the fire department or something. He was good, so we came out of there. He tends to just get into things. So uh, Luna and Tito were playing around. Tito chases Luna, Luna chases Tito. As you can see, behind this little counter is the kitchen. So we can't see it from here. We just started he hearing Tito meowing, like meow. Meow. And I thought he was just playing with a toy or a Luna and him were playing, meowing at each other, something like that. And I was like, okay. So me and Drew kind of looked at each other. We're like, oh, that's kind of cute. And then it started getting louder. Meow! Meow! It like, got more aggressive. And me and Drew looked, we're like, is Luna like being too rough with Tito or something? So I thought that. But then I see Luna sitting over here. So we looked at each other, what the hell? And he started screaming like, no, I didn't know cats could scream until I heard it. Yeah, yeah, like freaking out. Me and Drew look at each other. We get up. We go behind the counter and there he is in this little corner all balled up, screaming. I did not know what was going on. I, I thought maybe he was like having a heart attack. I don't know. Every cat owner's worst nightmare. We try to like get him. Like I go down there to see what was going on and he freaked out screaming he bit me so hard on my hand that it made me jump back like, ow you know it just shocked me because i didn't know what the hell was going on then drew goes down to try to help him he bites drew really hard and drew's ow it jumps back to exactly what i did drew stayed and he was like do something like we're like both freaking out we didn't know what the hell was happening so i felt around like i kind of grabbed tito's head so that he wouldn't bite me i felt around i feel his arm stuck and I start pulling at it a little bit and he's screaming, like screaming. I was like, oh my God, like I don't wanna hurt him. I don't wanna hurt his arm. Like I don't know what, how he got his arm in there. <laughs> like I don't know. So I'm trying to get his arm out. And George is back there like, help him. Like, cause he didn't know what was going on either. It was the scariest thing ever. And then I figure out the hole. So it's like this and then it closes a little bit. So his arm, he went through the hole and went down and then his arm got stuck. So I was feeling around, I lift his arm up and pull it out of the hole and then I get him out and he's still screaming. I'm like, oh my God. So I cuddle him. There's a Luna. Luna was concerned. Luna was meowing at him. Tito was screaming. Drew's, ah! And I'm just like comforting Tito. Like it was just total chaos here. Fortunately, Tito's okay. His arms are good. He's been playing around, doing his thing. He's good. You good? Yeah? Oh my gosh. <laughs> And then I take Tito to the bed and lay down with him and comfort him because he's freaking out. And I'm laying there comforting him. Luna comes up, starts meowing at him to make sure he's okay, which was so sweet. I can't believe Luna did that, but she came up, was meowing at him, seeing if he was okay. So I'm petting Tito and Luna. Luna's purring, Tito's calming down. <laughs> because I've never been in that situation where I've had to help an animal. Like, I mean, I've rescued birds and stuff. If they fell out of the nest or something and they're injured and their mama isn't there, I've helped them. But I've never helped an animal that was stuck somewhere and I had to get them out. So that was really scary. Um, so if anything like that has ever happened to you guys, I wanna hear about it. I wanna hear your story. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I was gonna post a vlog today, but I decided to post this because that was the scariest thing ever. <laughs> Oh my god. 
I'm always watching him, making sure he doesn't get stuck in anything. And the one second I'm not watching him, he gets stuck. So now I'm just keeping my eye on him. He's playing with the blinds over here, if you guys are kid here in the background. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys watch your pets. <laughs> Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Make sure you turn on that notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully it'll be not as dark of a subject as my animal getting stuck in a cabinet. So 